This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here at the BP Pulse Arena with Justine. 24 seconds of devastation from Ezra Taylor. Ezra, you can't be more pleased with that, I'm assuming. Yeah, it was good, man. Um, I can't lie to you. I did want to do a bit more. I wanted to break him down and work um, because ultimately that's what I want to do to my opponents. I want them to feel like they've been in, in a hard time, you know what I'm saying? But I guess he probably has the same type of feeling right now. Um, I'm grateful for his life that he's able to come and fight and he's healthy and whatever else. Um, but yeah, man, it was good. It was enjoy it. I need to go watch it back properly because these are the knockouts, like the highlight rules, right? So I've managed to do one of those. So yeah, hopefully that was a statement. Yeah, I just heard you say in another interview there about fights of a domestic level, certainly for the British title, the Commonwealth title. They've been going the distance, um, a little bit, something new, a little bit fresh, the power, the style of yours, which could set you apart and kind of become the next thing in this light heavyweight division. 100%, man. I, I've been believing it from the start. And like I was saying to you, no, we're, like, we're big guys, we've got big muscles and whatever else. We want, we, people want to see people get knocked out, you know what I'm saying? When people watch heavyweight fighting, you want to see people go their distance? They don't. Like heavyweights, yeah, we would accept it, but really and truly, you want to see people get knocked out, hurt, damaged. And if not, you want to see flair and entertainment. And you see me, I have all of that. So I, I'm starting to tick off all the boxes for the next world champion, I believe. So, yo, we're here now. Yeah, look. This week we spoke about Louis Edmondson for those titles, uh, revealed the DMs that he sent you and uh, he just commented this in the video, I just want to say this year he says uh, Ezra Taylor boxes like he's been injecting Viagra into his muscles. Um, yeah, just get your reaction to that. What's your reaction to that? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean, Louis Edmondson, brother? I don't know if you've been hitting your head too many times, but I don't know what you're saying. I've been saying it over and over again. I will just smack you in your mouth. Just to stop talking, I don't want, I've been injecting Viagra into my muscles. Why are you watching my muscles, bro? That's a bit strange. But anyways, whatever he wants to say, when, when I see him in that ring, you'll know what my muscles are on and what I'm going to be doing. And you ain't going to have to keep up, you know what I'm saying? So people use Viagra so you can keep up, right? So, I think yeah. he's insinuating that you box stiff. Uh, that, that's, what I, that's what I took from it. I can't lie to you. I, me personally, I think I'm like probably the most fluent boxer out there right now. The most... Um, person with li like liquid in his in his movement uh, but that's what I'm saying that's my opinion he can call me stiff I watched him box that disease and I seen him doing some crazy chicken dance he was moving his hands this time he was going southport doing some weird stuff don't do that against me because I will knock you clean out so anyways we'll see anyway he's talking a lot and it's good man keep talking I'm just going to show him up anyway you must be pleased that he is kind of engaging because it shows from his part that the fight could happen, that he's kind of not ignoring you, he's acknowledging that this is a potential fight for the early parts of next year. Yeah, 100%, man. I can't lie to you. As much of a, as much of a prat he is, I do like to, to go back and forth with him, you know what I'm saying? He looks like a good dancing partner as well. He's got energy. And I keep saying that's what boxing needs, you know what I'm saying? Um, the same way when I talk about Ben Whitaker, it would be a sick fight between me and him because we both got a bit of flair, we've got a bit of something different. That's what we need. We need something different. This Louis Edmondson is definitely different. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to when we be able to get into it because he's talking the talk. So yo, let's do it, man. Clearly, I can walk the walk. I do it in 24 seconds. So, you know, yo, time will tell. I feel like it would be something for you to get your teeth sucked into because kind of your personality feels like you are just waiting for that right opponent to have a proper build up and build into something a little bit bigger than what we've seen tonight. And you can't really get much bigger with what you've done in the ring but kind of a bit of hype around it as well. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I guess so, because I feel like I have the charisma, yeah. I have the flair, the personality and whatever else. So, and I also have the skills, let's not forget that. And I also have the knockout power. So, yeah, well, man, I just want a good dancing partner. That's about it. And um, Louis Edmondson, he seems all right for now. Um, he's got the belts, that's all I care for. Before, I didn't care for this guy. Everyone keeps talking about the messages he's been sending me. I didn't even look at it, man, honestly. But now, He's talking even more because he has the belts. He's the champion. Yo, and I respect him, man. He did his thing. So now you have to see me. We have to see each other. I'm the champion too. So, yo, let's, let's do it, please. For the, for the British public, right? Let's just do it. Excellent, Ezra. Congratulations. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV. And hopefully we get some news on that fight very, very soon, mate. Fingers crossed, my man.